Hello everybody and welcome back to Alaris Labs YouTube channel. As you may know, the new version 3.5.7 has been released and here we are going to list the most important features and changes. As not all features and corrections will be discussed in this video, you can check the full list of the changes and the release notes, the link to which you can find under this video. Some features from version 3.5.6 that were not described in the previous video will be also shown here. As interconnection using HTTP protocol between the partners is mostly not regulated, previously it took time to prepare our switch to send the requests and understand responses. Now the process has been reworked and the configuration takes noticeably less time. It can be done without updating the switch or any downtime. To enable processing of such requests, create a ticket to Alaris technical support team with the following code and provide appropriate documentation API specification for your new partner with credentials to connect to the partner. In the interface translation rules, you can now change the text of the message for a more traffic. As usual, you need to specify the traffic type and fill the translation field. As a result, the message will be passed further with changed text, valid for both pre- and post-routing rules. As you may remember, in the previous version a new re-rating table was added in the interface CDR and EDR re-rating. It represents the calculated stats of a specific re-rating task. We have added an opportunity to download detailed statistics using the following button to be able to see the stats by product. Similar to EDR export interface, the option convert timestamps was added to the CDR export interface and can be used to convert the columns setup, connect, disconnect time to the time zone specified in the field. It is helpful if you need to provide your partners with CDRs in the specific time zone. Sometimes it is necessary to filter the data in the interface based on more complex criteria. Suppose you need to filter the column with the data that consists only of numbers. You can choose the column in any report, type the following symbol and use the following regular expression. The following symbol must always close the expression. As a result, the system will filter the data using the expression. If such symbols are not used, the system will consider the expression as using like operator. The following columns in other interfaces can be used. In the voice analytics it is possible to find a switch layer. Earlier it could be displayed only in case the switch was specified on the poly level. But if the option any switch was chosen, then the switch in the analytics was not defined. Now, if the option any switch is chosen in the poly, the system will take the right switch directly from the CDRs, so the layer will be always defined. In the field center and message tags, it is now possible to use the following markers. The first marker will generate a number with 5 digits and the second one 10 Latin symbols. You can use them in different ways as shown on the screen. Finally, you will get the following message tags. Note that you cannot use more than 38 digits. Now, the classifiers in the interface routing features have their validity period. As you can see, the field start date and end date have been added. Let's consider the following example. We have a classifier that has the following active period, start date is and end date. Now, in case we add a new classifier for the same feature and product but with the following active period, start date is and end date, the two periods will overlap. The first classifier end date will be changed to and you will find two records in the interface as you can see on the screen. Additionally, the new checkbox Show Inactive has been added. It displays all records that are not currently active. There could be various reasons why the traffic in the analytics interface is displayed as undefined. The partner could be deleted, voice may not be found or no partner satisfied a routing request. Now, the undefined group was recognized and you will be able to find three new categories. Unknown partner, if the partner POI cannot be found. Deleted partner, if the partner POI has been removed. No routes, no vendor lag, the client attempt was rejected. Using the interface service notifications, it was possible to send notifications to all partners that have the field default technical emails completed, without an opportunity to exclude carriers. Now, a new checkbox in include in service notification was added that can be helpful in case you need an exact partner to not receive your technical notifications. As the password reset link sent to a user depends on the granted permissions in user's interface, the following error message, error, not a system owner user or no portal access roles were granted, 
will be shown in case either the web server portal or wholesale partner portal permissions is not granted. To be able to reset the password, provide the user with the appropriate permission. In the previous versions, a username was not specified when providing the link for resetting the password. As it might be confusing, the username will be automatically inserted in the appropriate field by following the link as you can see on the screen. In the password reset form, invoked by clicking the forgot password link, the prompt has been updated too. Please specify your login, in some cases it can be the same as the email, and press OK. We have added the new role show start page metrics that can hide or show metrics. After system update, this role will be automatically granted to all available users. When deselected, all metrics will be hidden from the user. Previously, the user could access the web center even if the role Web Center Partner Portal was not granted. Now, if the role is not selected as you can see on the screen, the user will not be able to access the web center. In both SMS and voice simulation interfaces, the first row will be colored red in case no routes were found. Otherwise, the first row, where the client leg is shown, will be colored gray and other rows based on their choice type, black for dynamic routing and gray for static routing. Now, two markers, charge details column 1 and charge detail columns 2 can be used in the invoice template to insert the following information. Charge detail column 1 displays the name of the pack, charge details column 2 the number of messages included in the pack. After the invoice is generated, the data will be inserted in the fields where these markers are put in. You can notice the new checkbox ignores statistic fillers if no suitable vendors in the interface rate compilation. If it is selected jointly with ASR greater than, DLR greater than and or volume greater than parameters and all found vendors do not satisfy such requirements, then the system will not take the statistics into account, so their rates will be considered anyway. Otherwise, if this option is not selected, all the vendors will be rejected for base cost calculation. Sometimes a single routing feature must be added to multiple products. Earlier you needed to add them one after another to each product. Now you have a multi-picker here that can be used to add a feature to several products. As a result you will get as many records and as many products you have specified in the multi-picker. The new system setting parameter add report info to file header was added. It is helpful in case you need to explore the results in the file without headers. This is how the results are shown if the parameter is activated and this is when the parameter is not activated. The ability to choose the delimiter of the CSV file was added. Here is the parameter where you can specify it. And here are possible values. The parameter is system-wide and it will influence export results from all the interfaces where it is possible to export CSV files. We have added the new marker rule type that can be used to differentiate the notifications sent by the system when the traffic exceeds a threshold. For example, if the rule has the type alert and the threshold was exceeded, the system will send the following notification and will change the marker to alert. If the type is block and alert, then the marker will be changed to block. All rules which are present in the interface voice SMS auto input rule will be displayed and filtered depending on the inappropriate roles granted to the user. In case the user has a single role, view and edit objects of managed accounts from the category view edit permissions activated, the only rules that contain managed accounts will be displayed. The same goes for other roles. Earlier, managers could view all data pertaining to other managers' accounts while partners' names were hidden. As you may know, mobile device can receive silent messages. They arrive with no sound on device. We have added the opportunity to send such messages from the interface's test system and send SMS. Here and here, the checkbox silent SMS was added that can be used to send such messages. In the interface SMS pack, you can find a new column and field, VAT. The field can be filled and the pack cost will be increased depending on the input value. For example, if the cost is 100, and the VAT percent is equal to 22, the final cost will be equal to 122. In the CDI reconciliation interface, the difference could appear not only between duration or A, B numbers, but also in rates. That is why now, if you specify the column rate, the system will compare the rates present in the file and rates from the system. If difference is found, it will be displayed in the following report as you can see on the screen. 
In the interface limitation rules, you can use NUR percent metric in the rules now. The functionality is the same with other metrics, so you need firstly specify the threshold in the tab thresholds and then finally create a rule. To adhere to the same terminology all over the system, some parameters and fields were renamed. Web Center will be used instead of Retail Portal, and Wholesale Portal will be used instead of Portal. We have added the opportunity to continue search for translation rules for the entity message text. Now you can configure several rules for message translation and organize them using priority. For example, if you have two translation rules with the priority 89 and 19 accordingly, the system will apply firstly the rule with the priority 90 and then with priority 89. We have added the opportunity to block the message if all vendors' channels are not bound. If the SMS switch receives a message and sends it to the routing engine, the submit response to the client will be sent only after the status of the vendor channels has been checked. For example, if the routing engine returns three routes, the switch will check the status of these three channels and in case all of them are offline, the client will receive the unsuccessful submit response from the alert switch and the message will be rejected with the status all vendors are not bound. Be aware, if there is even one HTTP channel in the routing list, the logic of submit response sending will not be changed. To activate this feature, please specify the following code. Starting from this version, you can find the country column in the classifier tab. It represents the country of the MCCMNC specified in the appropriate field. As sometimes it is required to export arrays in the CSV format, we have added the appropriate checkbox in the voice rate export interface and a drop down list in the SMS rate export interface. As sometimes the rate imported in the system might have the effective from date earlier than the agreement start date, the rate file was previously rejected as a whole. Now you will get the following notification rate effective date is not within the agreement active period and you will be able to accept it when importing the rates. The effective date of this rate will be changed to the next day after the import. Similar to EDR export interface, the new field A number mask was added in CDR export interface. It can be used to filter the exported CDRs based on the A number. The new report routing rules with static vendor rates was added in the system. Firstly, you can fill out the rates by country and use the following checkbox if you need to see the rates that will be further changed. As a result, the system provides you with first five vendors taken from the static choices and their current and future rates. Starting from this version, the information regarding the license info will be shown only for users that have the role system owner, no restrictions activated. Otherwise, this info will be hidden as you can see on the screen. When exporting the EDRs from the wholesale portal, you will be able to see two new columns – delivery time, delivery delay. As you may know, the first one specifies the time when the message was delivered and the second one the time that passed after the sending and before it was delivered. In the analytics interface, you can find the new layer – country region. This information is taken from the interface start, reference book, regions based on the assignment of the MCCMNC plus dial code plus country. If the country is found in the interface regions and it is assigned to a specific region, it will be displayed in the analytics. Otherwise, the region will be displayed as undefined as shown on the screen. Sometimes your vendors provide you with deliveries whose message IDs are not recognized by the SMS switch or are too old. Starting from this version, they will be ignored and not written in the EDRs. In the previous version, it was not possible to use the column rounded duration separately from the duration column. Now, the column rounded duration, which is the duration on the applied billing increment, can be specified alone in use to start the task. This is helpful when your partners provide you with the CDRs that contain only rounded duration. In the interface active calls, you can now use the new column client balance. It represents the carrier balance and can be also seen in the account interface. If the carrier is not defined, then the balance will not be displayed. We have added the opportunity to use the column setup time for reconciliation. As you can see, different options were added which can be used with this new column. SMS write export emails can now be sent using CC field. Here is the new field where you can specify the list of addresses that must be separated by comma or comma followed by blank space. 
After the task is finished, the system will insert all these addresses in the CC field and send the results to them. Now, the column rule ID is present in the report EDR export. It specifies the rule that was used to find the route. If the value of the column new rate is similar to the already existing client rate, then the value of the column change type is displayed as same. Earlier, such type was categorized as undefined. The bad field is not mandatory now and can be left empty during the registration process. In the interface SMS pack, with the help of the carrier multi-picker, you can find all carriers present in the system, even if they do not have SMS products. It can be useful to allow new partners to see specific packs, even if they haven't subscribed to any of them or used a rate plan. Well, these are all technical details that we plan to describe in this video. Hopefully, it was useful for you. In case you have any questions regarding the new version and the features that were not described here, you are welcome to contact our support team. If you have any suggestions regarding the channel development, we'll be happy to get them in the following email. See you in the next lesson. And thank you for watching.